Communicating with the Love Center is now easier than ever. Please text the words pray, love, or donate to 404 594 5717. Text the word pray to send your prayer requests. Text the word love for information on salvation. Or text the word donate to support our ministry. Everything that you give helps make what we do in ministry possible. For e giving, text the word donate to 404 594 5717. After you text the word donate, you'll receive a text message with a link. Click the link. This will take you to an online form that you can complete including your amount and billing information. Once you have completed the form, click the submit button at the bottom. After submitting your donation, you'll receive a text message that confirms what you have given. Escape slave, conductor on the Underground Railroad, nurse, scout, and spy during the Civil War, Harriet Tubman was a superwoman. Here's this tiny five foot tall woman, illiterate, very few resources, an ordinary person who ended up doing extraordinary things. So that's a testament to Harriet Tubman's determination. The prospect of being sold off and seeing family members ripped away contributed to Tubman's steely resolve to escape from her life in bondage. And when her husband, a free man, refused to join her, she set out alone. Harriet walked from Maryland all the way to Pennsylvania, almost 90 miles from slavery to freedom. Incredibly, she decided to return on foot to the South more than a dozen times to lead other enslaved people to freedom. Her courageous journeys earned her the title the Moses of her people. Very, very few freedom seekers returned to their former homes to bring people away. She rescued about 70 family and friends and gave instructions to about another 70 more who found their way to freedom by themselves using her connections along the route. Tubman worked as a nurse for the Union Army during the Civil War. And because of her vast knowledge of Southern geography and her extensive contacts on the Underground Railroad, she doubled as a spy behind rebel lines. In June of 1863, Tubman helped lead a raid of black troops along the Combahee River, successfully liberating more than 700 slaves. Tubman became the first woman to lead a major military operation in the history of the United States. Harriet Tubman was buried with military honors in Auburn, New York. In 2016, the Obama administration announced the redesign of the $20 bill, proposing Harriet Tubman as its new face. Despite being delayed, if approved, Harriet Tubman could become the first African-American to be featured on United States currency.
Jeremiah 3, 15, And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Our pastor's heart is protective and guards his flock from Satan's snares. Our pastor's heart is attentive and seek to know his people's cares. Our pastor's heart is sacrificial and for his sheep will give its all. Our pastor's heart is tender and listens to the Spirit's call. Our pastor's heart is obedient and heeds the master's commands. Our pastor's heart is reflective. He's our father and he's God's chosen man. We thank God for the life and ministry of Pastor Byron L. Brusson. The preaching of the gospel brings the heart and mind of God to the people who need to know and understand His will. God takes the yielded vessels and uses them to point us to the paths of hope and change for the better. In times like these, we need to hear a voice that will speak truth to power and love to the lost. Let's be blessed together now with Pastor Byron L. Broussard.